Live from the University of Arizona Television Studios, it's UA Tonight with Mike Brilliant. Today's guest, GM of UA TV, Melanie Hunker. We'll have an update with the Victoria's Secret Pink Rep, and we'll talk with our musical performer, Hannah Brewer. And now, here's Mike. Thank you, thank you. Hope everyone had a great spring break. I know I did. Um, actually, over the break, the producer for the show and I uh, got some news that some people are not very happy with us. Uh, people are so mad at us that I've been getting death threats and I actually had to hire bodyguards. You could see them, they're checking stuff, checking the room. All right, thank you. Uh, it turns out that someone has complained to the D students about us saying that uh, Mike Brilliant is racist. And uh, well, that's actually basically it. Uh, the university is so pissed at us that they're making us distribute UA Tonight with Mike Brilliant urinal cakes in every bathroom of the school. Yeah. Uh, now you can relieve your frustrations on my face. <laughs> uh, hey, Kenny, did you know, uh, you know what pisses me off the most? What? After all of the comments that were left on our YouTube videos, that was the most clever thing that anyone said. Anyway, uh, Kim Kardashian was recently covered in white stuff, and uh, no, it wasn't from Ray J. <laughs> Jersey Shore's The Situation has been admitted into a rehab program. Apparently not even he can cope with the fact that uh, Snooki is pregnant. In Tallulah, Louisiana, recently, a teacher has been fired for being present while third grade students were engaging in oral sex under the table, and uh, the biggest reason that she was fired uh, was for not teaching proper condom use. In Minnesota, there is an adult diaper litter that is on the loose and has cost the police department over $1,000 to clean it up. Uh, so far, the only leads point to former astronaut Lisa Nowak. You're probably going to have to look that one up. I had to Google. <laughs> uh, good news for city workers in Phoenix. Officials say that they will soon see an increase in their paychecks. We all know that uh, with this trickle-down economy, strippers, uh, strippers will finally be able to pay their way through college. According to the Daily Wildcat, tuition will be raised next year by $1,500. Uh, things your money still won't be spent on um, anything you use. <laughs> All right, guys, I know it's a short monologue, but we've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, we've got UATV GM Melanie Hunker here, and uh, we're going to have an update from the Pink Reps, as well as a chance to talk with our musical performer, Hannah Brewer. We'll be right back. with you? Of course. Okay. Thank you so much. You no have problem. a great show. Thanks. Hey, Mike. Love your show. Thanks. Hey, are you? Are you Mike Brilliant? Yeah. Are you on that, that one show like U, UA TV? Something UA, like that? Yeah, UA Tonight. Yeah, that shit sucks, dude. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day, asshole. I'm sorry, man. I hurt. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, well, for your show. Okay. I, hold on. I want to give you some. I want to give you some. Give, give me your hands. Here's the cup. You, you need that cup more than I do. Scratch your drink, bro. With an undefeated 5-0 outcome for the Fall Classic Tournament. The Occupy movement is taking hold because of its strength in numbers. Tonight is the absolute last night to ride the trolley as it is closing for two years. I'm sitting on what used to be known as Bear Down Field, which will soon be U of A's new practice field. I'm Evan Murray reporting from McHale Center with Wildcast.
talk shit on Wednesday. No. 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 Talk show on Wednesday, UA Tonight. No. You didn't? No. no. Highland burritos are going off the menu? Yeah. Why am I going to school? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to UA Tonight with Mike Brilliant. Our first guest today, you may have seen her reporting around Tucson, and she also oversees the university's student-run TV station. Please welcome Melanie Hunker. Yeah! How you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for finally coming on my show. Thanks for having me. Um, so, since Melanie is uh, the GM of UA TV, she is my boss. Yes. So, um, I better be careful. I oversee we'll, what you do. Yeah, uh, we may not have this show if uh, something happens. <laughs> um, so, I'll be careful. But uh, you do reporting around campus, you're a journalism yes. student. Mm -hmm. um, what exactly do you report on? Well, right now I work for Arizona Public Media, the PBS station here. So, I have a show called UA Plus, and I'm the host and the producer, so I report on anything that's going on around campus. What are some uh, things you've reported on? Right now, I'm reporting on research that's being done through the um, biology department. They're researching with fruit flies to find a drug for autism. So that's been one of my favorite stories. That's interesting. And um, so as a journalism student, you obviously want to go into media and reporting. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of reporting do you want to do most? Mainly political news. So hopefully break in somewhere eventually with that. Political like CNN or political like Fox? CNN, okay. not Fox. Okay, <laughs> just, just making sure. Um, and then what kind of stuff do you do here at UATV? So I'm the GM, so I basically oversee everything. I've trained the reporters and give them advice on what to do for their stories and just help them throughout the process. How did you first get involved with the TV station? I was a reporter first, and then I became an anchor for Entertainment Now, which was a mm, decent entertainment show, nothing like this. But... Um, yeah, that's how I got started, and then I was general manager. Okay, I see how it is. Yes. I can't um, compare to you. So. Of course, no one can. <laughs> of course friend. not. Um, so, and then you also put together Wildcast, which is uh, the newscast here mm -hmm. at UATV. Well, I actually didn't put it together. It was the GM before me, and I think they had it a couple years back, but the GM before me brought it back. So that's our staple here with all the news. But you like run it weekly, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, could you do a story about UA tonight? I could. Yeah. We could work that in. Um, what if I did it and then did all the voiceovers myself and interviewed myself? Would that be okay? <laughs> could be a possibility. Could you play that? Yeah. All you right. can do it all. Well, also uh, part of running UA TV is uh, making sure some ethical things are said on the air. Mm-hmm. And um, I actually want to play a little game with you. Uh, you can see right here on the teleprompter. Oh God. Um, Okay, awesome. There we go. Um, wait, go back up. <laughs> Teleprompter's moving. I didn't say. All right, would you, would you read that? Is that ethical to say on the air? I effing hate the U of A. Why would you say that? I, I, can't, I can't say what okay. was read on the teleprompter. Okay. okay. Would you say that? Tucson is a bleep hole. Okay. <laughs> um, what about that? Dorm room sports chat is filled with untalented. Uh, that's actually not even what she meant to say. <laughs> well, it was on the teleprompter. Was watch dorm why room sports chat. Why don't chat. you say it? It was no. It said watch dorm room sports chat at 7 p.m. Mondays only on UATV. How about one of these guys? They can do it. No, that's you not. Got what your bodyguards. For. No. Uh, all right. So uh, when we come back, we're gonna have uh, a little update with the pink representatives, um, and then also we have Hannah Brewer here. He's also going to be our musical guest. We'll be right back. All right, David Hassel off the hop. Get off with UATV. Stay tuned. Don't change the dial.
Guys, welcome back. In a minute, we'll have an interview and uh, musical performance by Hannah Brewer. But now we're here with the Pink Reps once again. Welcome back to the Hello. show. Hello. Um, so I believe something's going on here on campus. Yes, absolutely. And at like 50 other schools also. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You're good. Yeah, I, I prepared. <laughs> you know all about pink. I do. You know, it's, I normally don't know anything about anything. Um, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> anyway, tell us a little bit about the Collegiate Showdown. Well, actually, the Collegiate Showdown is going on right now. And um, basically, it's, like you said, between all of the schools. And it's a simple voting competition on our um, website. So it's Victoria's Secret Pink. And you just vote University of Arizona. And you vote every day. It's um, basically like a basketball bracket, too. So there's you know 30, and then there's 16, and then there's um, 12, 8, 4, and then So schools two. are playing basketball against each other? I thought that already happened. <laughs> No, it's We're exactly like okay. a basketball bracket. But what it is is once they narrow it down to, you know, the number one school, it is a back to school bash in the fall. And last year it was at Illinois and musical guest, do you remember who it was? Girl Talk, Liz Khalifa. Look oh, at this. I'm, I'm so prepared. Look at you. Okay, I'm we'll prepared. see. You already kinda knew that. But yeah. it's a it's a huge honor because it's um, just once a day voting, and so that's going on right now. But we have another event we want to talk to you about too. There's just oh, so much. Yeah. I didn't know about that. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Surprise! Now. Surprise! We're surprising you this time. I know. Time. Last time you thought you were going to be on my radio show, you ended up on a TV show. We're a little more prepared. We, yeah, we look a little bit better this time. What's your name? Emily. Emily. I'm Lainey. Lainey, nice to meet you. Yes, and Lainey is actually going to be the rep for next year. Congrats! So, Wait, so there's, she's filling both of your spots. She's no, there's one other girl. Another that girl. Um, couldn't make it tonight, but Got they're it. a part of our street team right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So basically our street team and then um, Amy and I are getting ready to do a pink sweatpants drive. But anyone can donate sweatpants to receive freebies next week on the U of A mall. What freebies? Um, this is one of them. Toast. A cool tote bag. What um, else do we have? We awesome have, water bottles. Um, gift cards, water bottles, makeup bags, a lot of stuff to give away. If you ever get frisbees or hacky sacks, I'd love to. Frisbees, we had this last year. We ran out. I'll There's bring one for you. I have one saved for you. That makes me happy. <laughs> Okay, um, so uh, giving out freebies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, who benefits from the sweatpants drive? This is going to a local charity, the Gospel um, Missions for Women. And it's very similar to, well, we did this last year too. It was in the fall. It was called Happy Project. And the same concept where we had a clothing donation drive and we donated, oh my gosh, I want to say maybe 2,000, 3,000, um, you know, items. Items of men, women's, everything. And it was actually partnered conveniently with ASUA. So we just took everything to that. Um, shelter and so this year is the same shelter but now we're focusing a little bit more on sweatpants just to keep it a little more pink but it's men and women's that's the thing mm -hmm. it's not just women's yeah Good so guys can come by too so I go find your sweatpants <laughs> you don't no. I find that hard to believe <laughs> maybe you could just go buy, some, buy some and then donate and then come and get a water bottle can we do Drink a pink. little Twitter thing right now yeah so we're having a competition really fast. So another surprise for you. Uh -oh. um, for all of our <laughs> followers on Twitter, on Twitter if you can tweet at us and tell us um, what the charity is that's going to benefit from our clothing drive, then you can win this fun free pink tote bag, and we will meet up with you this week. So if you tweet at VS Pink Wildcats and then the answer, which is the charity that the donations will go to, um, we'll meet up with you for this fun freebie. So one more one more time. It's at VS Pink Wildcats. Wildcats. Mm -hmm. Okay. We we'll, that. We'll benefit Playboy bunnies. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Just curious. Wrong organization. So you, you didn't get the right one, so you don't get a freebie. No. I'm gonna do it anyway, right now. <laughs> but um, it's a really great opportunity yeah. to get, like we said, men and women. Um, you know, not just girls who shop at Victoria's Secret Pink. So that's why we're trying to kind of get the word out now about it being for. Um, unisex, even if, you know, kids, anything. We're just really trying to raise a lot of um, donations for the charity. Right. Okay. So find your stuff. And then how are you promoting the Collegiate Showdown? Facebook, Facebook and Twitter. Twitter. 
Yep. All right, and uh, you're going to be on the mall next week? Yes, and that will be, we will be having a computer to vote and to be um, interactive with the competition. Um, like we said, when we have the um, event next week, you bring us an item and we give you a freebie. So if you bring us two items, we give you two, three. You're going to get as many freebies as you will donate. So <gasps> just so much going on in pink right now. Absolutely. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some sweatpants and donate some. Yeah, Thank please you should. Thank so much, ladies. <laughs> All right, so when we come back, we're going to talk with Hannah Brewer, and then uh, she'll perform for us. We'll be right back. game time, pressure falls on the shoulders of this season's drum major. For an entire week, there's golfing, food, drinks, and entertainment that doesn't stop when the sun goes down. If you are not yet registered to vote, here's what an Arizona voter registration form looks like. Bundle up Wildcats, winter is almost here. Reporting from the UA Mall for Wildcats, I'm Shay Sorensen. Tonight here on UATV, I'm sitting with Hannah Brewer. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So, uh, you're a performer. Yes. Uh, you sing and play the ukulele. I do. And uh, you're going to play a song for us later tonight. I'm going to. What are you going to play for us? I'm going to play Tied Down. It's just a cover song by Colby Calais. All right, sounds good. Yeah. How did you get uh, involved with music? Um, I have been able to sing my whole life. Uh, I kind of just taught myself how to sing. I've never had any formal vocal instructions, don't let that scare you. Um, and then I wanted to start doing music on my own without having to be with a band or having to be with a producer or something. So I kind of just went out and bought a ukulele and watched some YouTube videos and taught myself how to play. So. Sounds good. And then uh, I know you've played at some different places in LA. Some yes. that are very notable. One is The Roxy, I believe. Uh, no, I played at the Hard Rock Cafe oh, the in Hard Las Rock Vegas okay. in and Las the Whiskey. The Whiskey, that's what it was, yeah. and also the Canyon Club. And the Canyon Club. The we uh, headlined for English Beat, which is a really big band in Oh, England. yeah, they're old. They're like from Yeah, the we opened for them, and yeah, they are. No, seriously. I, I my parents are my really, they're really excited. <laughs> I listen to stuff like the Eagles, and people are just like, dude, it's all about, like... <laughs> yeah, we opened for English Beat stuff. at the Canyon Club, <laughs> and we headlined at the Whiskey okay. and at Hard Rock. All right, so and yeah. What kind of stuff did you play? You it was a reggae that? band, actually. That's not usually my style, but How I was. Did you get I was feeling with that. Um, it was a, a kid I went to high school with played the saxophone in the band, and he knew I sang because I've done a lot of things at the high school, so I'm kind of notorious over there. And he's like, "Please come be a temporary singer for my band. We we need a singer." I was like, "Yeah, okay, sure." He's like, "Oh, we need you to try out." I was like, Psh, "Try out? Like what? Like you asked me to come?" I was like, "Okay." So I went, and they loved me, and I started writing a song the first day I was there. Songwriting is kind of my thing. And um, they loved me, and then they, we sent out, you know, tapes to everybody, and we got a lot of shows. I played more. I played on the Santa Monica Pier at Rusty's. Played at a couple, just some random bars like in Long Beach and um, Webster's in L.A. So a bunch of different places. It was really fun. And then you also played uh, your mother's wedding when you were twelve. Yeah, that was my first um, public debut. Um, it was kind of a surprise. She had no idea. It was my first song I ever wrote and completed, and um, I sang it for her at her wedding, and she cried. So when you write songs, what do you normally write about? Um, it really depends. I can write about anything, even if I haven't personally experienced it. Um, I tend to write about whatever I'm feeling, like whatever state I'm in. Um, sometimes they're, you know, maybe like a love song or happy song or just like if you're just in a great mood. You know, I like to, I like to have them be a little bit more deep than just surface value. It's not like, oh, I walked to school today. Like, but um, it could be about anything, just about loving life. And I love where I'm at in life, so I like to portray that through my songs my music. Do you ever cry while you're writing a song? No, I don't, no. I'm not a big crier in general. You know, I, I always ask male musicians that, just see what they say, and really? only one person has admitted it and fessed up, and they have. You think admitted, or you think he just is the only one that cries? No, he admitted it. You they think? all cry. They Everyone all cry. Cries. Even the heavy metal guys? Even heavy metal guys. They cry the most. <laughs> they cry the most? Yeah. That's why they're so angry, because they can't stop crying. Of course. <laughs> all right. Um, so you're from Agora. 
Yes, Agoura Hills, California. Um, I used to live in Calabasas. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, we're rivals. I know. Except my school's always better than yours. <laughs> you know, I ended up not going to CHS, so I can't, oh. I can't say anything. Okay, good for you. Yeah. Um, so how was it growing up in California and now kind of coming to Tucson? <clears throat> Miss the beach, and people are scary out here. Oh my goodness. I went on a run outside the other night, and I got more sprinting in than I originally intended. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was, I mean, California is just, to me, the place to be. So I'm always going to go back there and I want to live there. And, um, but Tucson's really nice. Uh, U of A is kind of definitely a home, not, oh, excuse me, not Tucson as much as U of A. U of A is a great place to be. The people are really friendly and nice. There's a lot of people from my high school, from my area that all kind of came over to Arizona. So that's kind of cool. Nice. Uh, so you're going to stick around and play a song for us when we come back. I am. Hannah Brewer will perform for us. Stick around. I'm Derek Williams, the former U of A Wildcat. You're watching UA TV. Don't change the channel. Listen to this track, bitch. Live from UATV Studios, we got Hannah Brewer singing Tie Down. <clears throat> Troubles all around me, I get caught up in and barely breathing. But I'm finding out that holding on is harder than ever leaving. Because I'm keeping a cool, and I'm thinking about you sticking around it if we should pay. T -t 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 Tied down, I'm looking around, I know what I want, so don't hold me down. Oh, I, I, I can't take it, so please, won't you listen to the troubles all around me, I get caught up in the belly breathing, but I'm finding out that holding on is harder than ever leaving. Cause I'm keeping a cool, not thinking about you sticking around it if we should pay. T -t 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 Tied down, I'm looking around, I know what I want, so don't hold me down. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, oh. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, oh. Thank you. 
All right, thanks for watching. I'm Mike Brilliant. You can follow Hannah at Singit Hannah on Twitter, of course, at Melanie Reports for Melanie Hunker, and uh, at VS Pink Wildcat. Can't believe I remember that for Pink. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll be back next week. Thanks for watching.